GeneratorPowerSource.com here for a review of the Westinghouse iGen 4500. This is a 4500 watt peak, 3700 watt running inverter generator. It is one of the largest inverter generators that we've ever tested. It's much heavier as well, 104 pounds, almost 105 pounds. Uh, but in addition to that weight, you also do get longer run times. This fuel tank is much larger than some of the smaller 2000 watt inverter generators that we reviewed. You should get uh, about 18 hours run time at a quarter load. Uh, if you're going to run your AC, yeah, that might cut down, but it should get you through the night if you were going to uh, use this. And this, as I mentioned, run your AC. This unit should handle a 15,000 BTU air conditioner uh, with, with no problem. Now that it is larger, it is a slightly more expensive unit compared to uh, some of the smaller 2,000, 2,500 watt, uh, watt units. This unit is going to run you uh, about 1049 MSRP, so 1,050 bucks. Uh, for an inverter generator of its size, it's still one of the cheapest and it is actually one of the only of, of its size. And as I mentioned, this generator is already set up for the travel trailer. As you see on the front, you have the 30 amp receptacle, so you're already um, ready for the travel trailer plug. Uh, 220 volt receptacles here, and this generator can be paralleled, so we can put a parallel cable in the 120 volt receptacle and run this in parallel with a 2500 watt or another iGen 4500. Uh, so you have the possibility to increase your output if you were to run these in parallel. Another unique feature to Westinghouse is the presence of USB. So you have two USB outlets on the front, uh, fuel shut off on and off. And you'll notice on the front of this uh, unit is a push button start. So we do have an onboard battery, which allows for that push button start. And we also have the wireless start. So you have a key fob that you can, uh, you can start this unit. And you also have the LED display. So this will give you a voltage readout, uh, fuel remaining, how many hours you have left uh, under your current load and of course you do have the backup recoil start uh, if the battery were to die you do have that recoil start on the back last but not least as I mentioned this is a heavier unit but you do have the presence of this telescoping handle here so you have the wheels on the back and once you're on the flat ground you can wheel this uh, this unit around relatively easy uh, nice nice feature there but uh, again it's probably a two-man job to get this up on a table or in the back of a truck at uh, at roughly 105 pounds uh, you might see me uh, now as I was initially set this uh, generator up. The oil is on the back side here. Uh, relatively simple, pull off the panel, add the oil there. And then on the rear side is the uh, battery. And all you have to do is connect the terminals. You'll see that in the video. As opposed to actually uh, attaching the two wires to the terminals, it's just one easy connection. So super easy unit to set up. The biggest selling point of this unit for me is the noise. This is an incredibly quiet unit, even when it is under a load. We just got done testing this unit and at 20 feet under the eco mode we're reading 61 decibels and under a load with 1500 watt heat gun which is relatively small for this unit um, we are only bumping up to 67 decibels and I want to mention that at 50 feet uh, whether you're running eco mode or uh, under a load it's uh, it's so quiet that it's almost ambient uh, we're reading 58 under load and 54 uh, under eco uh, and ambient sound is anywhere from 46 to 56 so relatively quiet generator so overall really really impressed with this unit the biggest question is will this unit power a 15,000 BTU air conditioner we are going to take this unit down to uh, buddy's travel trailer and see if this will power a 15,000 BTU air conditioner that's the biggest question uh, I've been told by Westinghouse it should handle it no problem I believe it will handle it no problem it hit the uh, 1500 watt heat gun without a problem it didn't even didn't even phase it you did see a slight voltage drop but it was it was pretty minor uh, so that's been a review of the Westinghouse iGen 4500 subscribe give us a thumbs up and we'll be back with that uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner test next time